Hey there everybody, I'm excited to show you this new episode from an acoustic concert that we did about a week ago, but first I just wanted to highlight something that you're going to see in the video that I thought was important. While we were there, Pastor Larry showed us a food pantry that their church and other churches in the area have been keeping up. It serves hundreds of people. And I thought that this was worth noting because I've seen a lot of people recently who've become of the mind that Christians aren't doing good things for people anymore. and. If you think that, unfortunately, you're just getting your news from the wrong place. The thing about it is, it hasn't always been a social media trending topic uh, when ministries are sending their people to war torn uh, places in the Middle East, or to displaced peoples in third world countries, or to the homeless in their backyards, or to the drug addicted in their backyards. Not all the time, but most of the time, it's only become a social media trending topic when someone does something that's bad, or people think is bad, or is controversial in some way, because it's clickbait. But this stuff is going on right here in my hometown. I could, I could tell you about several, at least two ministries already, three, that come to mind right now that are doing stuff just like this where I live. I could tell you about ministries that are doing all those things that I mentioned before in the United States, and across the world. It's going on all over the place, whether people decide to make news out of it or not. So I thought it was worth mentioning. Check it out, enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next adventure. One short day oh in the Emerald City. You got there, Larry? I got me a gas station steak hoagie. I've been awake yeah. for like 15 minutes. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. I've been awake for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we're out here in some place, I think it's called Sabina, Ohio, trying to get to um, Greenfield, Ohio, and I kid you not, everything that you see here, it has been actually wider and sparser than this for about the last 45 minutes. I've not seen a school, I've not seen anything but like, fire church, like we saw one fire department at one point, seen two churches now, now this, this, this is times. the most populated thing we've seen in about an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's been really pretty though. Everything, everything is barns and silos and lots and lots of corn. Which well, is not fine. corn, but corn fields. No, it's cool. This is this is more of what we've been seeing all the way out here. But I have to say, uh, this church that we're going to, the people from this church, have come to several concerts at the underground that I know of. Came out to our church for the acoustic concert that we did a few weeks ago. So kudos to you guys for driving this far every time. Yeah. Like, this, look at this. Look at look at how far out you can see there. Whoa, snow on the ground. It's so pretty. We'll have to make sure we take it slow coming back when it's dark. Yeah, it's going to go faster. I am setting uh, vocal mics right now. Because our soundboard's back there. We use the first two channels for... Well, we use the first two channels for vocals because the first two channels have built-in compression on them. And then... You know, I might use a little spot delay or reverb, but in this room, this room is so reflective, we probably don't need it. Pro sound tip. Welcome to Larry Bevins. It wasn't manicure. I don't know what your fingers are. This is because I did not prepare for this, so I am very sketchily chopping my fingernails off. Trying to remember to do both hands. Keep this mess in the trash can, so I don't have my nasty work fingernails all up off on the floor. Hopefully I don't drop this into the trash can because I'm going to have to go dumpster dive. <laughs> this, this is our community pantry. Oh, cool. And so, um, we serve, let's see. We serve, wow. Wow, look at this. this nice. This is really nice. Yeah. We served 101 families this past week. We're really depressed here in the area. Uh -huh. You know, as far as, uh, Drugs have taken hold, uh, all the industry here has moved out, so the closest place to really get work at is about 45 minutes away. That's kind of what we were talking about on the way here, we're like, the drive is beautiful, but I was like, I haven't seen a school, I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything, yeah. but houses. Did you see the school? Did you see the school? Mm -hmm. I don't think at so. At the very end of this road, it's that great big, humongous, I mean, it's like huge. Yeah, we came from like this way. That we're way? Like all back, like okay. all kinds of farms and yeah. stuff. And the school here, it was um, Edward McLean, he was like a bazillionaire. And he built a school, and it's so awesome. It's got like fine art in it, and I mean, it's just, oh, wow. it's crazy. 
But yeah, this is our food pantry stuff. This is really nice. And then over on that side, uh, just on the door there is, uh, we have a little prayer room and things, so when people come get their food, we try to, you know, also. Welcome to the Missy's Hiding Hole, where she gets to play with soundboards. I brought some flies. She just has enough supplies to last her about the show. <laughs> For the video? Dan Taylor. Dan Taylor. Dan Taylor. He was in a band called Psalm 150 back yep. in the day. So now it's like to my sticker. Alright. Thank you, Dan Taylor. So we have um, we stopped here in Sabina, Ohio really quick. It's very late at night. And I just wanted to show you something. <laughs> There's a car coming. We saw these signs in several places now. We're, we're in kind of a little towny area here. We keep seeing this, these signs. Fast rural internet. What does it mean? They pulled up, opened their door, and that's what was playing. <laughs> <laughs> 